While Prideaux noted that the old Hebrew alphabet was the same as the Samaritan alphabet, he also pointed out that it is identical to the Phoenician alphabet. When we compare the letters of these three alphabets, we can see this similarity. This is the letter Bet in the Old Hebrew, the Samaritan, and the Phoenician. Note the close similarity of each of these letters. Also, note the similarities of the letter He in each of these alphabets. The 1831 edition of the Encyclopedia Americana also makes this connection between the Phoenician, Samaritan, and Hebrew alphabets. The Hebrews' written characters were the same as the Phoenicians, to which the letters of the Samaritan manuscripts approached the nearest. The Phoenicians were a Canaanite people who lived north of the land of Israel, centered around the biblical cities of Sidon and Tyr in modern-day Lebanon between the 16th and 3rd centuries BC. These three peoples, the Phoenicians, Samaritans, and Hebrews, are Shemites, descendants of Noah's son Shem. Not only do they all share the same ethnic heritage, but they all share the same alphabet. It was also evident that they all shared the same language as the Foreign Quarterly Review wrote in its 1838 publication. The learned world had almost universally allowed that the Phoenician language was, with few exceptions, identical with Hebrew. While the origins of the old Hebrew alphabet was widely accepted, this theory was based on a limited amount of evidence, as the Foreign Quarterly Review points out. What is left of Phoenician consists of a few inscriptions and coins. However, in the latter half of the 19th century, three discoveries were made that went a long way in proving this theory. 